they found those children mm. in tanks that were nearly full. And as I have learned uh, from you, the full capacity of these uh -huh. tanks is somewhere between 600 and 700 barrels of oil. That's a lot. So let's just say nearly yeah, full more. is mm. 500, correct? Yeah, exactly. And, you know, the strange thing to me is openly available, you can find the production rate of that well. And at its best, it was producing about 200 barrels per month. So it leads me to believe that, you know, the oil probably wasn't completely drained out by whoever put the, uh, the girls in these tanks. You know, they probably shifted the liquids from one tank over to the other one opened, put it in, and then shifted the liquids back to the other side. That requires quite a bit of technical knowledge, and it does take a certain amount of time and, to and do let me that stop kind you of there, operation. Because that was my uh -huh. next question. Uh, obviously, that drill site producing only you know 200 barrels a month is not going to be able in four days that's the time it took to find the bodies to fill even one of those tanks up to you know six seven hundred barrels it would take three months to fill them naturally so so just thinking that through if in fact uh, the opening on the top and again I'll hold it up is too small for Chris Watts to as he apparently according to the police admitted um, too small for him to put those children through, he would have had to do it from the bottom, which means the tank would have had to mm -hmm. be empty or he'd have been gushed on by a full tank of oil. So you're saying that there's a pump that goes between those two tanks and he could pump yes. one tank empty and put the, ch now that's the, there's the thief hatch and you can, I think that's your hand, Wesley, correct? Right next to the thief hatch at the top? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we get yeah, a relative size. Yeah, that's my size. hand to yeah. give you scale. Yeah, mm-hmm. And that's at the top. Yeah, this is an so example do tank that's similar. Yeah, that, that's part of what kind of bent my brain is, you know, I really don't think you could easily get anything, and it's designed that way, for you to not drop anything through that top hatch. They keep it very small, so eight inches is quite small. Uh, that's what made me think you pretty much have to take that bottom manway open. And the standard design, you know, there's 64 bolts, and you got to drain all of the liquids out to really, you know. Uh, we have a picture of that. Put the picture the up of the bottom out. manway because uh, Wesley's also given us an example photo of this tank where he is standing next to the manway. Um, this is the this is the actual site. What I'd like now is the example site of the manway um, that that Wesley shows us. If we can show that, it's called the clean out manway. There it is, and you can see Wesley's hand. Now you can see the relative size of that opening and all those bolts that would have to be opened, uh, unscrewed and screwed back on. And clearly it is at the bottom of the tank. So it's going to have to be really, that tank's gonna have to be literally dry. Um, but Wesley, just in terms of the time, because Chris Watts was seen leaving his house at 5.30 in the morning and he had mm -hmm. to have some kind of an alibi to be working by 7.30, 8.30 or 9.30 in the morning. So there were not, and it's 45 minutes to drive there. So he didn't have an inordinate amount of time at this site to dig a shallow grave for his wife and then do all this work mm -hmm. at these two yeah. uh, oil tanks. How much time does it take to pump the oil between the tanks? It's, it can't be the same as that forensic vacuum. No, and it, I, I think you could, probably do that within an hour more or less depending on how full the tanks were